All right, so I'm going to be showing how to open up and disassemble this HP, this is the HP Envy X360 M6 convertible PC model M6-AQ105DX. All right, so we're going to be using a PH1 or JS1 screwdriver as well as a T5 or Torx 5 screwdriver. All right, first thing, we're going to remove the rubber feet here. So I believe both sides have, yep, okay, hidden screws there. So we're going to have to undo these J1 or PH1 screwdriver screws. Um, you want to keep them in order because they can be different size, shape, and lengths. It looks like the screw is kind of staying in there. Let me try it with a magnet if it comes out. It does. Okay. So you want to keep the screws in order. The way I do that is I put them flat side down like that on my desk in the pattern I remove them. All right. So let's go ahead and remove those. Um, I don't think there's any screws underneath these feet just because there's four going across the bottom. So let's go ahead and switch the T5 or Torx 5 screwdriver and remove those screws. All right, the customer um, has issues with the battery, so we're replacing the battery. Okay, so there we go, that one and this one. Okay, and then remove the four from the bottom here. If this video helps you out, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helps you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. Alright, if you can't help out that way, it would help a lot. If you could watch a few of my other videos and then like and comment on those as well because that's what the algorithm likes to see. Other than that, let's go ahead and continue removing these. So it looks like this screw and this screw, they're not coming out. Um... Looks like the screw mounts that hold them are bad. Oh, I guess pinch, pinching this thing down helped hold the screw mount in place. I don't know if we'll be able to do that with this one, but let's try. Oh, it's working. Okay, good. All right, so we got all those screws out. Next, we're going to slowly, carefully open this up. Okay. Oh, did it turn itself on? What's going on here? It's still on. So let me make sure to shut it down. Give me a second. Okay, next I'm going to use my fingernails to get in this gap and then push with my thumb on the palm rest, all right? You don't want to push on the uh, touchpad itself, all right? I believe the battery is actually bad. It's bulging out. Oh, these clips on here are actually broken from it. So let's see here. So I don't think normally this cover would come out so easily. I think it's just coming out easily because the battery is bad and inflated itself. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind. All right um, Their computer is still turning off. So I'm waiting here. I Would highly recommend upgrading to an SSD. It looks like this uses a spinning hard drive here Which I'll kind of show a little bit inside what's going on with the components. All right finally turned off Okay, now that we got that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull on this slightly get my finger or thumb in there And then I'm gonna push and there we go it popped out Okay, if this video, um, because I've done, I've worked on other models that's very similar, I think I did a M6-AQ103DX, it's probably very, very similar. Um, so yeah, and I can actually see these, the battery's kind of very inflated. Battery model number is there, MB04XL. Let me actually get a thumbnail here. Okay, so there we go. All right, first thing we're gonna do is pull the battery out. I'm using a PH1 or JS1 screwdriver. Again, keep all the screws in order. And it looks like there's three going along the top. All right, so get this guy out. And all these screws are like having issues. Okay. And I'm most likely related to this battery being inflated. Okay, there's a second one. Is it my screwdriver just needs to be magnetized better? Why is it coming out? Come on. Hmm. Is my screwdriver not being magnetized right? There we go. Okay, and then the last one on this side. Alright, looks like there's also three at the bottom here. Those three out as well. One, two, 
get three. There we go. Then we have this little connector here. I'm going to zoom in. So usually what I do is at the wings, I just grab it with my fingernails and wiggle it. All right, so there we go, and it walks itself out. We're gonna go ahead and zoom back out. Here's the battery again. We're gonna go ahead and just take this off. So it comes out just like that. That's the old battery. Okay, um, here you can see the touchpad, trackpad. There's the connector here. These have like little flip latches like this that you flip them up and then you can pull it out. Keyboard connector here, keyboard backlight connector. You have the hard drive here. It's held in with a couple screws into this little tray or caddy. Um, you have the CMOS BIOS RTC real-time clock battery. To remove that, you get a little tool in there and you push it over and then you can pull it up. It's a CR2032. All right, you got the wireless card here with both antennas like that. And these are just labeled A and B most likely, or A and M, interesting. So, oh, okay, M is for the main and then A is for the auxiliary. Okay, to remove the antennas, you go from the tail and then you just pull straight up. I don't want to mess with mess it up because sometimes the solder for these aren't too good. I don't want to mess around with the connectors. There's the DC jack charge port connector here underneath the hinge. Um, okay, to remove that, you do have to undo the screws for the hinge and then you can lift the hinge up slightly and then you can get the thing out by pulling straight up. And it looks like it's just plugged in right underneath this plastic sheet, but I don't want to mess with that. There's this connector here as well. Speaker connection here for this bar. Uh, fan connector here. Make sure you have this right side up. You can see there's a little red wire going up towards the top, black wire going down towards the middle of the laptop. You got this thick fl uh, flex cable or whatever you call it. Um, and that connects the USB port, headphone jack, volume buttons, and then you have the power button there as well. Okay, um, then you got the LCD LVDS connector here. Again, there's a flip latch. If you're gonna mess with this, it's very important that you, after disconnecting the battery, you open the laptop and press and hold the power button for at least 15 seconds to drain any residual power. There's also an M.2 PCIe NVMe slot here. You do need a screw for it, so keep that in mind if you buy an M.2 SSD. It's not, most of the time it doesn't come with the screw. Um, Crucial's SSDs do come with a screw, but uh, other than that, usually it doesn't come with one. All right, we're going to remove this box here. I just get my fingernail underneath and then kind of lift up. And here we go. We have two sticks of RAM. You pull these two tabs to the side, and then it should pop up, but it's kind of stuck there. So there we go. And this is a PC4 2400T. You can use any PC4 2400T RAM. So if you want, you can get two 16 gig sticks for 32 gigs total. If they have 16 gig sticks, you can do that and get um, 32, or sorry, if they have like 32 gig sticks, you can do that and get 64 gigs. Um, but that's pretty much it. I'm gonna clean the dust off of here and then reassemble this with the new battery. Make sure when you put this little cover back on that you line up the edges with the little clips that hold it in place okay so just get that all lined up and then push it down all right i'm going to clean this real quick and i'll be back all right so the way i clean it i use a toothbrush i hold this and then you kind of just brush to loosen it and then i use a powerful electric blower to blow away the loosened dust so i'm going to do that and i'll be back see you guys in a bit all right i'm back cleaned it up a bit all right so i got all this dust off also, I noticed this screw mount is broken, so I'm gonna see if I can fix that with a little super glue. Uh, gotta be a little careful here. Don't wanna get that all over the place. Okay. All right, so I'll get that all in there. Why isn't the lid screwing on? Well, anyways, so we'll line this up and then we'll stick that down. I'm gonna have to use some paper towel to clean up the excess because there's a lot. <laughs> but, uh, what? What is going on? What is going on? Give me a second. All right, so we'll just keep holding it a little longer. Try this up, the excess around it, okay? Because obviously we don't want super glue just sitting inside the computer. Good. We're 
just cleaning out the excess. All right, there we go. Okay, let's get the new battery in. All right, so here's the battery. This is obviously a different brand, but uh, MB04XL. We're gonna just lower this down. And we do wanna check and make sure we plug it in the right way because the connector, you don't wanna plug it in upside down. So you can see the way they do the connector, you have the exposed metal pins on top here. If you flip it upside down, it's solid plastic. So you want it so the metal pins are facing upwards like this, okay? And let me make sure I put it right. Oh. Okay, so this is actually supposed to curve over sideways this way. And we'll just get this lined up. Very important that you push it in evenly. So I like to pinch both sides like this and get that plugged in. All right, very simple. Gotta get this all lined up. All right, and let's get these screws back and then we should be good to go. So we'll get this one in. Okay. And this one in. Okay. And the bottom ones. Make sure to get this one in. This one in. And the last one in. Right, the plastic that holds the screw mounts look to be intact. So hopefully when we go to screw it in, it will be okay. Um, I'm gonna see if I can actually tighten it in to get the screws in properly. This is probably gonna be too long, but let's see. Okay, it's holding. I'm gonna see if I have a shorter screw that will fit in here, and then I can use that to tighten this um, little, uh, what do you call the brass, whatever thing into place okay and those use smaller threads so we're going to use some small thread screws okay all right so i have one of these we're going to try and see if we can tighten it to get it to seat the brass nut or whatever you call it in better okay we did tighten in so i think it should be good all right yeah it went more flush now and then this side as well. Yeah, the magnet's really strong there. Okay, and we'll tighten that guy in as well. Okay. Uh oh. Yeah, this one keeps spinning around. Okay, with enough pressure, it looks like it came out okay. All right, looks good. All right, let's go ahead now and reassemble. So we're just going to put the bottom cover back on. Pretty simple, straightforward. Just line it up and then push everything back in. Okay, let's get the two screws here back in. One and this one. And we're going to get the rubber foot back on. Just line it up. On. Okay. There's so much dust in there. All right. Now we just got to get the T5 or Torx 5 screws back in and we're good to go. Okay. Get those back in. pretty much it again hopefully this video helped you guys out if it did please make sure to like comment subscribe share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well and if it helped you save a bunch of money please consider contributing well to the channel every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living again if you can't help out that way it would help a lot if you could watch a few of my other videos 
and then like and comment on those as well because that's what the algorithm likes to see other than that that's pretty much it i'm gonna power it up make sure it's working okay okay i hear it powering on and there we go it's starting up with the new battery so that's pretty much it again thanks for watching and i'll see you all in the next one let's drop this bye